and 9-11 family members on why the White House may side with Saudi Arabia over the folks who lost loved ones right here in America on that tragic day. Plus, and in two days from September 11th, marking 15 years since the 9-11 terror attacks, and the White House may stand in the way of families seeking justice. Earlier in a rare, very rare, bipartisan effort, Congress passed the Justice Against Sponsors of Terrorism Act, allowing 9-11 families to sue anyone who may have been behind the attacks. Now the bill goes to President Obama's desk, and we are hearing he is not prepared to sign it. Joining us now, New York Congressman Peter King, who sponsored the bill, and Terry Strada, along with her daughter, Caitlin, who lost their husband and father, Tom Strada, on 9-11. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, Brian. Let's start with you, Congressman. Yeah. I, I, the House passed it unanimously, unanimously. and the Senate passed Absolutely. it unanimously. Every single one of our representatives is in favor of this. Right. And the president's going to stop it? Why? He's threatening to veto it. Uh, there's pressure from the Saudis, from Saudi lobbyists, the foreign policy establishment somehow thinks this will unravel things, which is nonsense. This bill was so finely drawn. Terry was at every step of the way. Unravel things meaning what? Our the, relationship with Saudi Arabia? Probably with Saudi Arabia. They feel because Saudi Arabia is cooperating with us in certain areas, we don't want to antagonize it. Listen, they cooperate sometimes, sometimes they don't. We have to send a signal that they have to cooperate all the time because there's, there's strong evidence as to what may have happened on 9-11. If they have nothing to worry about, don't worry about the lawsuit. But as far as the president threatening to veto it, I think it's important. Donald Trump came out today. He's he supported the legislation. It's important for Hillary Clinton, I think now in her role, to tell the president that she supports it and call on him not to veto it. It's really up to her right now and to the president. Terry, obviously you lost your husband on 9-11. And you see, you go forward with this, but why would you want to sue Saudi Arabia, given the difficulty that would be associated with it, given the unlikelihood of actually collecting on any judgment you might get? Oh, because the evidence points to them. So they are the ones responsible for the murder of my husband. And I, like all the other 9-11 families, we deserve justice and accountability for that. Our lives were shattered on that day. And it has not been easy the last 15 years. And it's never going to be easy living without him. So there needs to be accountability. It doesn't matter what country it was. You know, it doesn't matter if it was the same. What do you think of that? You know, President Obama saying, hey, that we have an important relationship with them now. We don't want to antagonize them by allowing this. Well, every relationship is better if it's based on the truth rather than lies. And right now they're hiding behind what they did. So the truth needs to come out, and I think things would be better. It won't damage our relationship. We'll still have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. It's just that the families will have the justice that they deserve. This bill really is about justice. Caitlin, what do you think? You're, you're 19 years old, just started college. So you were four years old when your dad died. I mean, do you have do you have a real understanding of, you know, the enormity, apart from your own loss, of what happened that day? And do you think others are starting to forget? Because we're going to do a segment in the, in the next block about this football team that's going to protest during the national anthem on 9-11. Right. Um, it's the hardest thing for me to grow up in a world where the threat of President Obama not not signing off on this bill. My father lived by the saying to do the right thing. He always wanted to do the right thing, and I think it's time for the president to do the right thing and sign JASTA and enact it into law. How do you feel like being a 9-11 child has affected your life? Oh, it's changed my life. Um, it is the hardest thing to grow up without a parent due to terrorism, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. It breaks my heart seeing all of these other terrorist attacks happening every month mm -hmm. here so do I you think you're the people your age get it you know get what ha like really understand what happened that day um, I find that a lot of people don't truly understand what happened and they don't know that no one's been held accountable and I think that we need to finally bring those accountable um, we need to bring them to court and we need to find them guilty and they need to be held accountable mm -hmm. that's the thing congressman is that yeah. m most Americans move down with their lives and didn't have to live in grief right. ever after, as this family did. Yeah, I think too many Americans have moved on. It's, uh, I guess maybe it's human nature to put it in the back of your mind, but the fact is we should never forget what happened. And the president done, so. shouldn't. Uh, yeah, and I agree. And to me, again, he's the leader of the country. And whether you're Democrat or Republican, he's the leader. He should set the example. But 9-11 coming up in two days, for him to even talk about vetoing this bill is a disgrace. Mm -hmm. Absolute disgrace. Before I let you go, your message to these football players. Uh, who yeah, a disgrace to America. This is, uh, they, uh, again, they, they, they should be ashamed of themselves, and they should be, thank God they live in America. Great to see you all. Thank, thank you for being yeah. here. Thank Lots you. of love to you. Thank Thanks. you.